You may have seen this fish symbol on t-shirts, bumper stickers, etc. And you may have even heard it called the Jesus fish. But what exactly does this symbol mean and where does it come from? Well, this has been used since the very first centuries of the church during the great persecutions. We're told, and there's no good reason to disbelieve it, that in order to recognize other believers, people would do things such as, you know, they meet a stranger, they draw it in a nonchalant fashion, one of the arcs in the sand with their finger, and if the other person is also a Christian, they'll recognize it, and they'll complete it with the other arc, leaving the tail. And what does that tell them? That tells them that person is also a follower of the way, or a Christian. And they can freely discuss their faith. They can tell them, Mass is in this catacomb at this hour today, etc. So that they wouldn't, uh, you know, fall to the persecutions. Now, this fish is connected with, of course, Jesus' famous miracles, multiplying the loaves and the fishes, as well as his parables and analogies that he used using fish and fishermen as symbols. But most of all, it's an acronym. It's an acronym because the word for fish in Greek is ichthyus. And if we take each letter, it stands for another important word, that is, Jesus, Christos, Theu, Uyos, or Huyos, Soter. And what does that mean? It's an acronym for Jesus is the Christ, or the Messiah, that is the Anointed One, of God, the Son, the Savior. So, in Biblical Greek, here, um, Jesus, nominative, Jesus, is, is uh, presumed, as it is often done in Greek and in Latin, the Christ, or the Messiah, or the Anointed One. Christos means the Christ, that's where we get the word Christ from in Greek. Same word as uh, the Messiah from Hebrew, both meaning Anointed One. But then it says, of God. That's because it's genitive singular. It comes here before the Son. What they mean is the Son of God. The Son of God, the Savior. So Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, the Savior. So what is this? This is a creed. This fish symbol is a creed. It's a statement of faith. And we also see it in ancient centuries in the wheel, the ichthyus wheel, or the ichthyus loaf, that's this symbol. You can even see the two put together in here in this example found in Ephesus. We also especially found lots of examples of this in Ephesus um, from the first centuries of the church. And this wheel was likely used when the authorities figured out the meaning of the fish symbol. Um, and we find it particularly, you know, drawn, etched in stone, etc. And uh, clearly connecting the two as seen in this uh, ancient drawing here. Now you may ask, what does this wheel have to do with this fish? Well, if you look carefully, you can see that the wheel is actually composed of all five of these letters superimposed, as you can see here in red. And why is it called the loaf? Because it also looks like a loaf of bread, especially unleavened bread that you can break off piece by piece, uh, similar to what we use in the West in the Eucharist. It is himself the Eucharist. And that fish can also represent Jesus in the Eucharist, multiplied for us, so to speak, being the one body of Christ. I hope now you can use this fish symbol as a more meaningful expression of your faith. God bless, and oremus pro invicem.